Hello, this is a demo uh, on how to install another GDK to act as a cell. So we have here the how to in GDK for installing cells. So let's go ahead and try it out. Um, the first part, I've already done that. Um, I've already uh, exported this environment variable into my bash profile. And then for the second part, we can either follow this clone um, or we can just um, clone from the local directory uh, like so. So if we run, if we skip to the next part and run this command here, secondary port 2001, primary is this. Um, uh, we also want the target directory. It gives you a helpful hint on how, how to clone from a local directory. So we should go ahead and do that. It's uh, much faster to clone locally. And then once we've done that, we run the cells at secondary command. What that does is it uses this as primary and configures the secondary uh, at port 3001 for the second GDK's uh, Rails web process and uh, it installs it into this directory, which is uh, adjacent to what, what I have here. And this tells us, uh, this summarizes what, what I've just said. So if I just let it run, uh, this will take about five minutes, mostly because I mostly from having to compile Gitale and other things. Welcome back. So it's been compiling for a while, for about a few minutes. And it's finished compiling Gitale. And now we're just uh, restarting GDK on, on both GDKs, the primary and the secondary. And we're done. So the GDK, the new GDK should be available now. Refresh again.
and we see a sign-in screen. That's great. So we should be able to use the same uh, username and password from, from the primary GDK to sign in. And we're signed in, but um, there's some error, which uh, we will look at some other time. Great, thank you.